Hello everybody, thank you for joining us. Today we are going to do a sketch of a dog standing up and we are going to base it on a German Shepherd. So if your pencil is all set, let us begin by putting down some framework. Now we have done uh, another fe a video featuring videos featuring dogs and one of them focused on a similar stance but uh, due to the structure of the dog so by the way this is of course the, the, the front legs we're going to do a pose uh, from the front there will be some foreshortening because that is how generally in common life we look at them like you know from different angles not necessarily always from the side we have a video that uh, there too where we feature looking at a dog from the side but this one is a little more dynamic it's more practical let's put the neck here the head will go somewhere here now when we're talking about a German Shepherd the difference between the other video that we did in which we featured a verbal dog which is a more uh, stocky customer compared to the German Shepherd. The German Shepherd more streamlined um, not necessarily yes taller too a little taller but not necessarily taller but with features that are more collapsed in terms of being uh, uh, how, how should we say uh, like there, it has a slimmer build. Like the other dog that we did was stock here, here at the front, so top heavy dog. So German Shepherd, more balanced in terms of the frame. So those are the uh, rear legs. And we have toes here. So we need, even at the foreshortened angle, unless we really keep tilting the picture, and the rear legs keep going, keep going smaller in in our view. From an immediate perspective, this is how it most likely is going to be. So right around there. So we've tried to replicate that same perspective, the same angle to illustrate the difference between dogs. So here we go with the uh, German Shepherd. So. A typical German Shepherd if I may say there are like breeds which are a little heavier in terms of the, the, the fur they have but this one is I think a medium in between so we are putting down over this framework that we have just uh, dropped in some Set of paws. Now, um, when we're talking about a, a, a German Shepherd, we have to also uh, uh, maintain that it is a dog that is like, like also like quite big, but. Uh, Again, its features are not top heavy. So, of course, I mean, it's a little, well, mostly, most of the dogs are like a little heavier at the top compared to the, the, the rear legs, but not as top heavy as, 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 a, as a Dane or as a, or as a Mastiff or as a Pitbull. So here we have the the back actually let's get this in first going there and we throw in the legs right there and of course there can be variations there can be variations with how we look at this how certain things might work out better for for one person and not necessarily 
do the same thing for another. And then they have this hefty tail that we usually see if it is like relaxed somewhere along those lines. But again, like there's some variations uh, there as well. Now, the head of the dog, I think somewhere here would be okay to have the have the muzzle, the the mouth, the nose going somewhere here would be fine. So going backward, putting that uh, streamlined nose there. So their nose, like not like uh, flat, I guess like pointy. We can make out from this angle. See if it was looking here, of course, it would be a more pointier uh, uh, feel to it. But right here we have this view, and it'll probably appear something like that along these lines. We go upward nose and thing putting in the eyes on those lines will be sufficient Now all most of the the German shepherds, they have what you call darker muzzles here. And then they begin like blending in, fading out unless this guy has more black in his uh, fur then he does brown, that is a different story. But those are also like, we see very few of those. And then of course, one of the features that uh, put the, the German Shepherd or the Alsatian Aside from their peers, these, these huge perked up ears that they're rather, rather good with. If you know that these dogs are very often used by police, by other security personnel to help them uh, Help them detect funny business in airports and other uh, areas of, of traffic. Like people, like where there's a lot of people coming and going and where the area needs to be monitored just in case somebody doesn't have something questionable on them. So these dogs are heavily used for this. So why I left this frail was because we are going to throw in a lot of fur around here. Because these dogs are so I I like the A German Shepherd that has a lot of fur going for him or her. The purpose of putting this together was just to show the same, uh, like a dog standing, but from this particular uh, angle. And again, a more, uh, a different 
type of dog than a more blocky uh, mastiff or a, or a pit bull or a dane because the look and the structure is different so uh, please do try it out for yourself and uh, see what all these different possibilities that you could work with uh, thank you for watching please uh, stay tuned to subscribe and have yourself a have yourself a wonderful day